Deer, just came out. Keep going. Just back the tractor away. First set of guy wires up top. Now I'm gonna install these second set right here. Hi doggies. I'm curious to what's going on here. So I'm connecting the uh, cable to the ratchet strap uh, with two U-clips. And if you're wondering about the history of me using these ratchet straps, my last uh, wind generator, I had three ratchet straps, one on each cable, and I had it there for over 10 years. And I did not have to change it, and it didn't, neither one of them broke. So I'm just gonna go with the same system. Actually, these are rated for a little heavier load than the other one, so if anything, these should last longer. That's a fair bit of strain on that, so that's good. Now the pole looks level. Um, and again, we've got two sets of guy wires there, secured into some pretty solid wood. And I'm gonna call that done for the day. Let's wait for the big windstorm and see what happens. Well, the wind generator made it through the night. It got really windy, actually, and uh, I just tightened up the straps a little bit. They'll find their place over time, then that'll be it. They'll stay stationary, at least that's the experience I had with the other one. So, now that's out of the way, we got our interior wall started. We got our wind generator up. Now I'm going to try to get some solar panels, at least the brackets, up on the roof while we had this warm weather. Look at that beauty. <laughs> I love it. This weather is a gift from above. We're breaking all kinds of records, but today is the last day, unfortunately, but it has helped tremendously so. So I installed those brackets uh, a few days ago. I got another bracket up and under on the bottom part of the roof there, and it's bolted together, uh, top and bottom, tightly. And uh, of course I use lots of silicone on the bottom, plus uh, roofing tear on the top. And it hasn't leaked. We had a little bit of rain one day and I watched it and it's all fine. And I put that metal down there and I wanted this wood to be raised. I didn't want this to be uh, touching the shingles at all and then lots of water building up there and that would uh, lead to rot So as it stands right now, there's just the metal touching the roof and the water can run all beneath it And I may get uh, I may replace this all with metal one day uh, But the last time I had my solar panels up for about 12 years similar type board and it didn't um, 
didn't rot at all. Not too bad, so I'm gonna cover this with uh, stain and maintainer and keep it up like you would any other wood. So I can replace it anytime I want. So that's how they'll sit. There's enough, there's enough room there for four of these on each stand. So I'm gonna take this off now and apply a little bit of stain and call that one done. watts of solar power 100 watts each and they went on there perfectly nice and level nice and secure and I got lots of room for expansion I can come out here with another one face that way if I want to the reason why I got them oriented this way is because the Sun comes up in the summertime over there and it goes up here right now it's about uh, 2 30 in the day so you capitalize on all this Sun and then as it goes over to later in the evening, we'll catch them on this set of panels right here. And they even look a little stylish, like they belong to the kit or something. That's a bonus. Our wind generator is going. That's another 1200 watts. That's 2400 watts worth of power. Now, rarely do you ever get the maximum uh, output from your solar or your wind generator. So it's nice to have an extra few panels just to try and get as much as you can. So on a future video now, I'll show you how I'll uh, actually hook these panels together and put them into my cabin and get that power into my batteries. And so stay tuned to watch that video and others and until the next video, take care of each other, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time, guaranteed. Get outside and enjoy.